A brand new tank engine was racing across the island of Soto. He was very excited. And he didn't want to be late. Right on time, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas and Percy looked at the big tank engine. He was very impressive. This is Arthur, said Sir Topham Hatt. He's here to shunt freight cars and pull freight. Nice to meet you, puffed Arthur politely. And he's got a spotless record, said Sir Topham Hatt. And what's a spotless record, whispered Percy. It means he's never been naughty or made a mess, replied Thomas. The three engines were soon at work. Thomas and Percy were bumping freight cars. They knew this was naughty, but they were having fun. Join in, Arthur, said Thomas. No, thank you, wished a new engine. He'd never been naughty before. Arthur's first job was to push a train of fruit to market. The troublesome truck started to sing. Root coat cow, we want to go. The fruit's going off cause you're too slow. How rude, huffed Arthur. This gave Thomas a naughty idea. Sir Topham Hatt doesn't like the troublesome truck singing, said Thomas. You must stop them. Thank you, said Arthur. I will. Arthur was glad he could keep the troublesome trucks in order. Oh, never stop the trucks from singing, laughed Thomas. Arthur chuffed cheerfully through the countryside. Soon the troublesome truck started singing again. Chod, chod, chuff, you tuck it up, but you're so rusty you can't eat a buff. Stop singing, huffed Arthur. Trucks should do as they are told. The troublesome trucks were cross. If they couldn't sing, they would teach Arthur a lesson instead. We'll show him, they giggle. He can't push us around. Arthur struggled over bridges. And he puffed and puffed through tunnels. He came over the top of a big hill. You can't catch us, laughed the troublesome trucks. Re hit me. But there was trouble ahead. Duck had stopped at the crossing at the bottom of the hill. Arthur's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Squashed fruit flew everywhere. Arthur was upset. His spotless record was ruined. Oh, Arthur, what a mess, puffed Thomas. So Topham Hat was very annoyed. What happened here? The troublesome trucks were singing. I told them to stop, but they made me go too fast. Please, sir, it's my fault. Thomas told Sir Topham Hat what he had done. Arthur, it's, um, fruitless for me to say more. <clears throat> but Thomas, you must help clear up this mess. Harvey arrived with the breakdown crate. He could see there was a lot of work to be done. Everyone worked hard and Thomas took the loaded trucks away. That evening, Arthur was having the squashed fruit cleaned out of his funnel. Hello, Thomas. Arthur, I'm sorry I played a trick on you, said Thomas. Thanks for owning up to it, replied Arthur. Maybe spotless records are made to be broken, smiled Thomas. And then mended again, finished Arthur, just like friendships. <laughs>